greatly benefit from very precise and short answers. I would say I would, you know, propose maybe three to four more minutes. Um, and then we can leave uh, some uh, time for Q&A towards the end of this, uh, of this discussion. I'll start with a few questions individually, and maybe at the end we can put the general question that anybody can think to. So my first question, and this is in no specific order, is for Ashish. Um, you know, if you can give us a taste of the latest and greatest research and application of artificial intelligence in society right now, and basically, you know, what we really benefit from is how has AI been adopted and integrated into society today? And, you know, how is it already being used? And maybe just give us an idea. Facebook, Uber, 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 Uber. Amazon, Netflix movies personalized recommendation I think it will naturally progress into building up AI in the platforms. 
think that is how actually it will change the change the future. So, so that's so great for us to get some insights about your specific sector, which is trans uh, transportation, to see how AI can actually transcend some human errors, and sort of you know push that sector forward. Uh, my question was for Swash is you know in terms of the market, what does the market look like in terms of the products that are there there? Uh, and also in terms of the talent pool, what is the supply and demand for that? What's the interest? What does the sector and the market look like? Um, so I'll break it down into two contexts in terms of because and socially. So I'll start with socially because we have a lot of clients uh, outside here in the US and Europe and stuff. Um, so in the past couple of years, what we realized is that uh, AI used to be a niche uh, experiment with companies, but now we have startups, we have mid-class companies that are coming in and saying that we need the implementation of AI. And it's not about like, an exotic AI. Uh, it could be uh, medical imaging, it could be in terms of data uh, protection, uh, supply management, this kind of stuff. Uh, so there, there's been, like, I would say right now we're in a, in a very mainstream use case for AI. Uh, and most people don't even realize that we, it, it's not a separate product. It, it is part of what you're doing. Uh, it is an extension. So as he said, with mobility, with data, you can do a lot more with that, right? You, make it, you can customize it, you can make it more human, I guess, as is, is a concept. Uh, in the, uh, uh, it's also, there's a lot of demand. Uh, uh, in terms of companies, they're starting to realize that we need to have this, right? So whether it's fraud protection for banks, uh, whether it is, uh, again, logistics kind of thing, management kind of stuff, uh, you need people trained in it. Uh, and it's also not only like specialized company like us, but companies are realizing that they need to have an AI team, right? Just as you have a data team, just as you have a back-end engineering team, you need to have people who can understand AI, implement it, things like that. Um, and in terms of just uh, uh, startups and things like that, um, just outside of the stalls, uh, we have so many interesting people who are coming up and they're like, oh, we want to do this kind of project. Uh, and one interesting, really interesting project was that uh, this person came up to me and said, like, uh, I want to build a tool uh, where uh, we use computer vision uh, for blind people where you know, the, the, uh, your app will basically tell you what's in front of you, right? if it's a cable, if it's uh, uh, stuff like that. So they're already thinking like that. The students are already thinking like that. So uh, in terms of just the mainstream market, I think we're at a place where everybody realizes that there is use cases from personal. Uh, whether I'm in a bank or I'm in, in a hospital, uh, how many did I do? How can it be customized to me? Uh, that's what's going on. And the companies are realizing that there's a financial benefit to uh, using this to have an edge uh, in terms of. And, and also, I just want to say that most companies, when we talk to them, they're like, um, we've never implemented AI, yeah, we don't have the data. Right? Of course, you do. Um, you have that right now. You collect all these kind of data. Uh, whether you have a shop, whether you have a convenience store, or whether you have a supermarket, whether you're a bank, you already have the data. It's just you have to use it to solve it. Great, well, that's, that's really good. I move on to uh, Balji. Uh, in terms of the education, training, and research that's happening in Nepal, now this question will be very relevant to the amazing group of people that's outside this hall and also just the youth who are just, you know, um, are saying this is an exciting sector, why should I join this sector? So my question for Balji is, what is the skill and science of the education of, of AI in, the, in Nepal? And to potential students, what makes AI an excellent career choice? And just personally, what motivates you in your field? Uh, thank you. Uh, in fact, uh, AI is uh, basically a... Uh, uh, it's a... Uh, New endeavor at this, I would say, in Nepal, at least in, uh, in the academia. New in the sense that uh, a few years back, uh, we did have a lot of amount of interest among the students to get their uh, uh, AI projects. Uh, so, uh, one, of the, one of the biggest attractions, uh, I think it's, it's all about you know, uh, the, the trends that, uh, that AI has actually done, uh, that has taken the last. Uh, 
three years. And it's, it's a global trend, it's a local, it's a local trend. And uh, and since the students have been have been trying have been attracted to try new projects and uh, try innovative uh, ideas and so on and so forth. And for example, now gone are the days when uh, when the students actually reach all the year of the third year of fourth year take AI course and then do some projects. Uh, students start projects in fact before entering the university. Even the even the school days. Many students have already started their project. And I, I see that there is a, there is a great transform, I mean, transformation potential that AI, AI has in the education sector. Because uh, through AI, uh, basically now we are trying to, trying to find out what would be the best approach to teach our students in the class. Because each student has a different capability and potential. So the, all the education materials that you need to provide to the students also need to be customized as per the student needs. And here comes learning analytics. And we, we, can, we can foresee, we can, uh, in the early stage, if we can foresee problems on the student part, then we can better train them in a separate way as per the needs and skills. That's one part. And the other part is uh, lately, I mean, we have been working in, not in the just in the academia but in the industry as well to increase the inclusiveness in the use of technology. For example, there could be people who are deprived from physically deprived from using the technology because they are let's say for for physically visually impaired or let's say they are some invalid or some, some some reasons. And for that we are trying we are in the academia we are trying to develop some intelligent Applications like uh, OCR, optical character recognition, or text to speech, or speech recognition systems, which will actually help these uh, uh, non mainstream uh, people to actually make use of the technology. So, we are trying to make the technology ac uh, more accessible and more affordable to these group of people as well. So, so, I think that those could be some of the uh, motivations are some of the reasons why the academia students and the researchers are more interested to actually develop AI-based solutions or applications so that, so that they can contribute to the transformation of society.